What's going on guys? We are doing another update for the AND Engine uh, tutorial series. Even though I didn't get into the actual development of the games because AND Engine is always changing. And I knew it was going to cause problems and everyone would be like, hey this isn't working anymore. Can you make a new video? And I'd be like, yeah. And then I'd make a new video and then that video wouldn't work. And it'd just be an endless cycle of updating videos. But hopefully I'll get into the AND Engine series soon. I just want to get you guys hooked up how to get started with the new 2.0 of the GLES series of AND Engine. The first thing that we have to do is update Eclipse. Um, and before we do that, uh, just right click over in your package explorer, go to import. Uh, if you don't have the git folder, uh, we're going to have to update our information here. So what we want to do is go up to the help tab up here and go to install new software. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually install the GitHub update for Eclipse plugin or whatever, uh, get the plugin for it. And this is the URL, I'll put it in the description for you so it's nice and easy, you don't have to go find this on your own. But that's what you're looking for. Paste that in there, hit add, and if you can't add it, if it says like, you know, duplicate um, location as you can see here, uh, that's fine. But uh, try and add it and then you'll get these updates, install them. And quickly if these updates aren't being installed or if, you, if you're getting nothing here and it says duplicate entry, uh, what you need to do is go up to your Eclipse tab if you're on Mac, Eclipse Preferences. If you're on Windows, I believe it's under the Window tab and then Preferences, it might be under the Help tab, I forget. But for Mac, it's uh, Eclipse Preferences and then we're going to go into our Install and Update tab and Available Software Sites. Now, as you can see, I have the Eclipse GitHub plugin update site. That's the URL that we just tried to uh, install. So uh, make sure you have that checked. Most likely it'll be down here somewhere. Look for it. Click the ticker and also click the ticker for the ADT for the Android development tools because we need to update that as well. Make sure it's above level 17. Um, so make sure those two are ticked at least. Maybe you want to update your Helios or Indigo as well. It's up to you. Um, but make sure those are ticked and then we're going to hit OK and then we're going to go back to the window tab and we're, or I'm sorry the help tab and say check for updates and it'll give you a bunch of updates that you need to download and install. So get that done, probably take you a while, you might want to cook a pizza or some mac and cheese or something and then come back after it's done installing, you got to restart Eclipse. The next thing that we have to do is update the SDK so we're going to go to the window tab, Android SDK Manager and what you need to do is you need to update all your tools so click the tools and that will update your SDK that you want it to be above again level 17 or 18 I forget um, as of now it's at level 19 you also want to have the Android 4.0 series um, so you know click that and hit install alright uh, you can also have all these other ones as well you know it's probably going to take you a while to get those going but you need to have the Android 4.0 so click install packages might take a few seconds or a few hours again cook another pizza get obese so that's pretty much the setup for the github stuff and you're ready to go with the AND engine I know that's kind of a lot of information uh, to get updated but that's what you're going need to need to do watch the video a couple times to get caught up to this point make sure you have all the software and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to andengine.org here and click on the source. As you can see, it got moved to GitHub. So we're going to click that link here. And this is the next URL that we're going to need. We're going to click that, copy it. And then we're going to go over to Eclipse, right click, import. And under the Git folder, we're going to say projects from Git. And so we're going to click URI, URI, and uh, paste it there, or it should already be there. And then hit next might take a second uh, again hit next and you're gonna be in a location something like this in a git folder and engine make sure this is the GL ES2 and uh, you're good to go alright so it's giving me an issue because I already had it installed but um, I'll do this again real quickly after I deleted my current uh, location information and you know as you can see it takes a few Again, a few seconds. I know it always sucks getting started uh, developing stuff because you have to get up to date and uh, all that stuff. So then just hit next, finish, and you're good to go there. Um, now this might give you some errors. You might get like a red line or something there. 
So we have a few other things that we have to do to make sure we don't have any errors because I have a feeling most of you will have an error here. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you have a, a res folder. That might be your first error. If you don't have a res folder, just create new uh, folder and then type in res and it says I already have one but if you don't obviously you want to type in a res folder hit finish that might get rid of one of your errors the next thing that we need to do is right click go down to properties and we want to choose this Android function here and we're gonna say Android 4.0 series and hit apply okay because and engine needs the 4.0 series that's why we had to update the SDK with the 4.0 and you also want to make sure this is library is checked so make sure that's checked again apply the next thing we have to do is we want to go to the Java build path right here Java build path and then we're gonna to go to order and export make sure all these are checked um, everything's checked here and hit OK and that should get rid of all of your problems so now you have and engine and we are ready to do some work so just to get started we're gonna create a new project uh, you know I'll just gonna I'm just gonna show you how to get this set up we're gonna say Android project this works for 2.0 and above so we're gonna say like and eng2 and so you can use any of these above the 2.0 platform hit next uh, do your identifier or your package and we're gonna say and eng2 finish alright so now we have to right click on our project that we just set up go again down to the properties I know it's so tedious just to get going with some games, but it's going to be worth it uh, for you guys if you stick with it. And we're going to click uh, within the preferences. We're going to click this uh, Android button here, and we're going to click down here uh, this Add button, and we're going to add the And Engine project that we just set up as a library. So we're going to say OK and apply that, and then we're going to go again to the Java build path and order and export, and we're going to check both of these as well. And then hit OK. And now this is fully powered with the AND Engine uh, GL ES 2.0. Um, the pro only problem you guys are going to have is when you're testing your applications, you're going to have to test it on an actual device because the emulator that comes with Eclipse and the, the Android development tools, uh, the emulator just can't handle this massive AND Engine. Um, and it's just like, Whoa, and engine, you have a power level of 9,000! And uh, it just can't handle it. So you're going to have to test on your actual device. That's the only problem. But, uh, you know, I might make another tutorial just getting a basic game activity set up. You know, the, just the, the newbie stuff. So um, that's pretty much how you install and engine. Hope it helps you guys out. And I will catch you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your week, rest of your day rest of your life. T-Rave signing out later. You know you want to subscribe. Just click that button. Just do it.